Hey tennis fans, I'm Grace Carter and this is Tennis Now presented by Tennis Express. Tennis Express, order today and it ships today. The ATP season is winding down, but ATP politics are heating up. Kevin Anderson has now replaced Novak Djokovic as the new ATP Player Council president. Remember, Novak resigned his post back in August when he announced the creation of the new Professional Tennis Players Association. Anderson has served on the Player Council since 2012, and he's widely respected as a voice of reason among his peers. Vasik Pospisil, John Isner, and Sam Querrey also resigned from the Player Council, and they have joined Nole in the new PTPA breakaway union. Replacing them on the ATP Player Council and joining with Rafa and Roger are Andy Murray, Jeremy Chardy, Felix Auger Aliassim, and Australian John Millman. Novak, though, believes the new PTPA is vital to give players more power. So, all this raises the question about whether the two groups will cooperate. Back in August, Roger and Rafa took to Twitter, backing the current ATP government and calling for unity. The implication is that Novak's new PTPA could divide players into two political camps. Novak wants 100% player representation, and he says that just hasn't happened in the past. Andy Murray, though, says he is open to Novak's plan. He just doesn't like the timing because he'd like to give the new ATP CEO, Andrea Gaudanzi, time to implement his vision first. He's only been in the position since January. Now, Rafa and Roger agree with this, especially because they all agree that COVID has created such a disruption this season. Now, earlier this year, Fed and Gaudanzi both talked about a possible ATP WTA merger, saying that unity is key to the future of tennis. So we shall see how this all shakes out. Meantime, what are your thoughts? Out with the old, in with the new? Does Novak have the right idea here? Or do the players need to unify under the old council? Sound off in the comment section below, and we'll see you next time.